I was just talking here with Anthony about a question we could ask everybody, and Anthony came up with a great question. Why should you go to church? Hmm. Three, two, one. Why should you go to church? Well, why should why should we? A answer me. Why should you go to church? I think it's important to go to church because of the community aspect there. Because church isn't just about being taught and uh, worshiping and leaving. It's about fellowshipping with other believers who have the same beliefs as you, and then learning. And not only learning from you know a pastor or Sunday school or whatever. It's uh, just being in that community. You learn from each other how to treat each other, how to respect each other. And you also, well, you know, someone might learn something different from the sermon you didn't get. And you can talk about it and then uh, have lunch together. And, but it's about community. That's what it's all about. I believe that. Why should you go to church? Church is a place where, you know, Christians get together and they worship God corporately. And the reason why is because we give God the glory when we come together and acknowledge Him with our whole hearts, any type of manifestation of his presence, mm -hmm. I think that lives are touched and changed. People come running to the altar at church. People turn their lives completely in a 180 degrees and never look back. And I don't see that happening, you know, down at Taco Bell. I don't see that happening down at the mall. You know, I have led people to the Lord at Taco Bell's and at the mall. But... You know, in that place of corporate worship is where, you know, you can really chip through the layers and really get deep down into the heart of man or woman and, and really change their lives forever. Why do we as Christians need to go to church? Okay. Um, three reasons. Um, because it's the body of Christ and we're not really in this world to live on our own, but we need all our brothers and sisters. And uh, Jesus said, second reason, I will build the church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So it's Jesus' church. It's his idea. We follow him. It's a good idea to do what he says. And then another reason given in the book of Hebrews in chapter 10, 24 and 25, it says, don't forsake the assembling together, which is a habit of some, but encourage one another all the more as you see the day drawing near. And so from that verse's perspective, like we need to encourage each other more as the day draws near, not less. So we need to go to church because we need the encouragement. It's important to go to church because, I mean, that's the body of Christ. You're getting plugged in and you got people around you that are, you know, you're accountable to. And God, God meant for us to, to hold each other up, you know, and without church, like without that gathering, it's hard to do that. So. Same thing, you know, just to mainly just get fed and just get that get that word, you know, and just learning, you know, because a lot of times on our own, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna be sitting getting into our word, you know, as good as our pastor is, you know, like he said, we have to have somebody like above us, you know, that's kind of mentoring us and just just like feeding us, you know, and like another huge thing for me is like fellowship, you know, because if we're not held accountable, like he was saying, also we're more like easy to stumble, you know, and just fall and get caught up in sin, you know. So there's times where I really want to go to church, and there's sometimes I don't, and the times that I don't want to go is when I'm spoken to or when I'm blessed. I'm going through hardships right now, and it's te and God's teaching me a lot of who I am. Um, he's revealing a lot of issues I have, and through all that, I'm, I'm learning how loving and how good God is. Because I usually think I'm God. I think I know what's best for myself, and if I surrender to God, you know, he already knows his, He already knows the plans he has for me. Plans to prosper me and not to harm me. And if I get in the way, I usually cause trouble. But when I surrender it and make sure it's God's will, it goes smoother. You know? it's, there's hardships in it, and it's, it's blind. But that's my faith. That's faith, you know. And I get, I, I get fed in those times. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> 
So, Judd, why should you go to church? One question. Fellowship. A lot of people go to a bar. A lot of kids go to a skate park. They want to hang out where other people are enjoying the things they love. And we love God and we want to know God. You want to hang out with people who know more about God than you. So people that know more about God than you typically go to church because they want to get fed by the Word. Just like I go to the skate park, I want to get fed by the session, get pumped up, go to church, get pumped up on a good Word, get out there and live it out in my life. From where I came from and all the things that I've had sold into my life and just growing up, being with just mayhem and everything, had things that I didn't even know were um, pretty much damaging me as I grew up. I always th thought that the things that were wrong were right because that's what I seen. I had a friend tell me to go to church with him and, you know, being a drug addict as I was, I didn't feel that um, I needed it because I felt I had everything. I had money, had a, I thought was a good life. And then, you know, as I went to church and um, was touched, you know, by God, it, it gives you a sense of direction because everybody's searching for something, some kind of fun, whether it be in porn, drugs, whatever it is, you know, just gambling, whatever. It could be anything. It could even be an attitude, a puffed up attitude. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, God, God taught me and stripped that all from me, which to me leads to a good reason to go to church. You know, there's a saying in the Bible that I always go on is that, you know, iron sharpens iron like another brother sharpens another's countenance. And when, when I look at that and just the things that um, I've been through and everything and never having anybody, but maybe a pipe or something or, you know, a bong, whatever, you know, to be somebody that I helped change my countenance or whatever, you know, now it's, now it's Jesus. Now it's God full on. Yeah, I did set myself up. Pride yeah, yeah, always yeah, comes yeah. before a fall. Well, I wouldn't do it. Put on helmet, done. pads, yeah. elbow pads, and knee pads, and yeah, I'll be go safe. for it. <laughs> it's the fall forward and break your wrist, or it's the fling out and get a concussion when you hit the back of your head again. Ready? I'll say one, go 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 to church. We get tired of the daily grind. We want to escape and find.